Here's what happened. Up 3 nothing. Fake field goal. Up top, Brian Greasy's pass is broken up. A tremendous play by Sean Springs. Still 3 nothing in the second quarter. Happy Pearson. He had 107 rushing yards in the first half. Ohio State built a 9-0 halftime lead. Scott Dreisbach, dislocated elbow. Out. Brian Greasy in. And as the DB falls down, Ty Streets. 69-yard touchdown. Michigan back in it, trailing 9-7. They had two Remy Hamilton field goals take the lead. Stanley Jackson played the second quarter and was ineffective. Joey Germain played the first and the third and the fourth and tried to find a way to get something done. But a last-ditch effort, much like the one we just saw. So this one was intercepted by Marcus Ray. And how sweet was it for this Wolverine, who's from Columbus, Ohio, Michigan. Beats Ohio make their Rose Bowl still have national championship hopes. Terry Battle and company took care of that early. 20-yard touchdown, 7-0 Sun Devils. Next possession on third and 31. Kevin Schmidtke gets the pitch. Tries the quick kick that got blocked. Derek Rogers, the great defender for the Sun Devils, recovers at the three. Battle scored again. It was 28-7. This was becoming dominant, and it became the Jake Plummer, Keith Pool show, like it's been all season. But cool. What a one-handed grab that was. You need to see it again to appreciate the tremendous catch in the middle of four defenders. Same drive plumber. Looking topside for Poole. Another terrific grab for the touchdown. The Sun Devils roll. They complete a perfect regular season at 11-0. They win 56-14. Washington, Washington State tonight in the Palouse. A big early start for Washington. They were able to move the ball down the field effectively throughout the game, an emotional game all the way around. Corey Dillon set a record tonight. Corey Dillon scored three touchdowns in this game, 22 on the season. Ties O.J. Simpson and Marcus Allen for the most touchdowns by a Pac-10 running back. It was 24-0, but Washington found their 24-0 lead get down to 24-17. Dylan had to come out of the game with a hamstring injury. Under two minutes left, Ryan Leaf to Michael Black, tied at 24. We go to overtime. They came back from down 24, but Washington gets the first score of overtime. Jerome Payton on the catch of the Damon Heward pass. Last chance for the Cougars. Pushed back to fourth down from their own 23. Leaf to Chad. And Carpenter, who made the spectacular catch, but correctly called out of bounds. As you see right there. And Washington and Jim Lambright finished their season at 9-2 with the loss to Arizona State on the opening weekend and the dismantling in South Bend, L.A. USC had four different 17-point leads. It was down to seven. This disastrous fumble by Lavelle Woods in the last two minutes picked up by Asante Abdul Salam. So UCLA is in business. A game that they were, this game was over. 11 minutes left, they were down 17. Skip Hicks to the end zone. Tie game at 38. Still not over in regulation. Southern California moves it down the field. Adam Abrams from 41 yards to win, and it's blocked. Bob Toledo's defense, which couldn't stop Southern California all day, sends it to overtime after an exchange of field goals. In the second overtime, first play, Skip Hicks somehow gets through. The Trojan would-be tacklers. Touchdown, UCLA by seven. A last chance for Southern California. Matt Kofler, the backup quarterback, is in. UCLA gets some pressure on him. He has to put one up. Anthony Cobbs is there to come up with the interception. Never took a knee, never heard a whistle, but the game was over for the sixth straight time. Four in a row with John Robinson in his second tenure at USC. USC is beaten by UCLA. Listen, another running back got some yards taken care of today. Mike Lawrence for Kansas State. Here a touchdown, put his team up early. He had a school record, 252 yards and three touchdowns. Now Davis, and on this run, he breaks the 2,000-yard mark for the second consecutive season. That's never happened in major college football. A touchdown and a guy who must get Heisman consideration. Got a flag there, but certainly got everyone's attention. Kansas State beats Iowa State by the score of 35 to 20 in the game. K-State's fourth straight nine-win season. Texas Tech beat Oklahoma by the end of the day. Michigan State made it very difficult on them. Up top on the halfback option, Cedric Irvin to Nigea Carter, 56-yard score. Michigan State leads by six in Happy Valley. Next drive for Penn State. Wally Richardson on play action, looking for Joe Jerovicious, who had a tremendous day, several circus catches. 
including this one that led to a score to put Penn State up one. Fourth quarter, State down seven. Michigan State, that is. Todd Schultz to Nigeria Carter, 34 yards. A Schultz keeper tied the game at 29. Penn State gets it back. Wally Richardson is hit. He fumbles, and Michigan State recovers in the red zone. Chris Gardner, chance for a field goal for the lead. It stayed left. Penn State's bench. The assistant so happy he knocked off Jopa's glasses. Get the glasses back on Jopa. He's got to see Brett Conway do some work. But first, Richardson and Jaravicious move it down the field 29 yards. Closer for Conway, who hits the 30-yard field goal. Penn State wins 32-29 to the victory, and they keep alive. To the highlights of this one. What a running day for Ronnie Jenkins. Four-yard touchdown there. The roll rolls on for BYU. They jump out to a 20-0 lead. 366 yards on the ground. Sarkeesian only threw 12 passes. Jenkins had 156 yards, and Lavelle Edwards' team will meet Joe Tiller's Wyoming team, although Tiller will become the Purdue coach eventually. BYU beat Utah by 20. Utah's bowl hopes in the balance. Now BYU boys and all the special team boys for Temple had a tough day. Syracuse scored two plays after that mistake. Third quarter, special teams now for the Orangemen, which has been so, so good this year. Keith Downing, the backup quarterback, takes in the fake field goal. Syracuse wins 36-15 in front of a crowd of 4,000. Jumped out to a 21-0 lead. Rich Linden, the 10-yard quarterback sneak. But Yale charges back. If you think back in college football history, one of the great comebacks ever was in a Harvard-Yale game. Chris Barber to Clint Rogers. It's 21-7. The Harvard lead is 26-15. Barber to Heath Ackley. 26-21 after the two-point conversion fails. Six seconds left. Final play. Final chance. This is the way the story's supposed to end. A Yale touchdown here, but not to be. Carm Cosa comes up on the short end of his final game as Yale head coach. Harvard finishes its season at four and six. Yale at two and eight. The Clemson on the deuce. Fourth quarter, Troy Hambrick, the freshman for South Carolina, part of a 21-0 run for the Gamecocks. Yeah, it sounded like basketball. The way they were scoring, it felt like basketball. 34-17. Back comes Clemson. Two touchdowns. They make it 34-31, but the freshman Mike Patrick can't make the field goal. South Carolina hangs on. The road team has won the last six in that series. Kentucky and Tennessee. Peyton Manning, peerless price. 80-yard touchdown. The beer barrel stayed in Knoxville. 56-10, volunteers roll. Peyton Manning played well despite the knee injury from last week. North Carolina at Duke. Storyline here, Chris Keldor out with a fractured ankle. Happened during the game. The all-time NC single-season touchdown pass record Keldorf set this year. Oscar Davenport came in, played well. 80-yard touchdown pass to L.C. Stevens. The Tar Heels ring the victory bell on Tobacco Road by 17. And our favorite, maybe our favorite highlight of the year, Northwest Louisiana. Stephen F. Austin, six seconds left. Stephen F. trying to come back, throw it up, down seven. The Hail Mary doesn't work. And Chief Caddo, a seven-foot, 300-plus pound Wood Indian, Goes back to Northwest. Hits Curtis Alexander, and this is the way you set up a screen. Looks like a punt. They set up the wall. Whoa, 63 yards for the touchdown. He can flat fly. 7-0 Alabama, but Auburn can flat play football. Kitchens, looks, throws, intercepted. Brad Ware picks it. He picks up some good blocking. He goes 34 yards for the touchdown. Bama was up 17-0. This ties it at 17. Now Auburn's up. Buck and a half to go, 23-17. Watch the defense. Turn around and find the ball, pal. Don't just interfere with the guy. That set up Bama at the 18, then it's Kitchens to Dennis Riddle. He ran for 131. The great cut there to get into the end zone and score the game-winning touchdown. Ooh, Terry Bowden so close. What a way for Gene Stallings to coach his last game at Alabama. The win clinches the SEC West title for Bama. Game at Notre Dame Stadium. Rutgers just left in the wake of this emotion. Ron Paulus said it was Lou Holtz's day. He was just proud to be a part of it. And a pretty special day for Paulus as well. The eight-yard touchdown there to Autry Denson. Seven zip. Now the shuttle pass to Jamie Spencer. 13 yards for the score. 21 zip Notre Dame. Now Rick Meyer had the career touchdown passing mark of 41 for Notre Dame until this. Ron Paulus, career TD pass number 42. He is tops all time. Malcolm Johnson with the catch there. Then it was time to hoist Lou and celebrate. The fans making the L with the thumb and the index finger, playing Lou's overture. Then after the game, the ride for Lou Holtz. The last time at Notre Dame Stadium, his team rolls 62-zip. 
We're on seven, Florida State. Late second quarter, Busby with the pass, but he's pulled down. Slight, mild left knee strain. So on comes Dan Kendra. Kendra completed nine of 15 passes, 141 yards, and this touchdown pass to Wayne Messam. Florida wins at 48 to 10. It'll be interesting for West Virginia and Virginia Tech. West Virginia hadn't given up 100 yards to a running back in 19 games until Ken Oxendine does it. 104 yards today, 39 yards on that touchdown. Now for some defense. Cornell Brown from the Hokies, he steals the pitch. The guy had 10 tackles, three sacks. Vatek wins it, 31 to 14.